This is a picture that was taken by Nokia 7650 and basically this is the first Nokia phone with a camera. And you can tell that the result is not so great. If you zoom the picture, the details are missing. But fortunately, today we have lots of AIs that can upscale the picture and introduce some details to the picture. So it's going to look like more modern, more detailed and uh, probably a bit better. But there are so many options and it's kind of difficult to decide which one that actually look great. And so I have done some testing on several AI tools that can upscale pictures and I have this conclusion. So this is the comparison between original Thomas Labs, Image Upscaler and Recraft AI. So this is the original. I'm going to show you some details and I'm going to explain to you why I think one tool is the best compared to everything else. So this is the original picture and as you can see the area here is kind of blurry it's not so clear and also the details on the road is not there yet although i can tell that there's a pattern on the road and then i upscale the picture using topaz labs and this is the result it's actually pretty amazing other than the surrounding area uh, on the edge of the picture in the middle it's actually pretty great although i can tell that it's definitely has been upscaled by ai but you can see that the details has uh, have been enhanced and I would say it's a lot better than the original picture uh, but while still remain uh, maintaining the style or the original look of the uh, original picture and then this is the upscaled version from image upscaler i think it's not so great especially if you look at the road the pattern is basically almost gone here and everything looks very smooth and doesn't feel realistic or authentic anymore and this one is from Recrab AI. I love Recrab AI, but unfortunately for upscaling a picture, it's not so great. In fact, if you look closely at the pattern, it's almost like it's gone. There's no pattern anymore. It's very blurry. So it's not so good if you compare it with Papa's Lab. And so this is the tool that I highly recommend if you want to upscale an old picture or any picture that has a low resolution so recently Thomas labs just released the web version of the tool they actually used to be only selling software but now you have uh, the opportunity to use some of its services online via a web browser so this is the website i'm going to leave the link in the video description basically you can sign up for free and you can access fair use AI tools but for this example i'll show you how you can use the upscale feature you can click on the upscale menu right here and then here I'm going to be using a different picture for a demonstration. So previously I was using this Nokia 7650 picture. I'll use another picture from Nokia, which is this picture, which I think looks even worse. And not to mention it contains face and AI is usually not very good at determining what is the actual face of the person. The best you can use just made up some face. so it's not exactly the same person anymore. But uh, I'm going to try that anyway and you'll see the result. I'm going to click on this button, upload image, and I'm going to select this picture. There you go. So here at the top, you can select the model. There is low resolution version 2. There is also CGI and standard. Personally, I think standard is still a lot better compared to the other options. But then again, you can select any model depending on the picture that you're trying to upscale. And here for the upscale factor, I guess I'm going to go with the 2x, which is twice the size. But you can go with 4x, 6x, or even 8x. I think uh, twice or quadruple the aspect ratio or the dimension is okay. And preserve face, let's enable that. And there you go. You can adjust sharpen and denoise, but I'm going to leave it with the default setting. And then I'm going to click the render button. So for a free user, you can get 10 credits every month, which is not a lot, but given the quality, I think it could be worth it. So this is the result. And yeah. Okay, maybe the face, her face is not so great here, but other than that especially this man face is becoming much more coherent although the hand is kind of <laughs> the hand is kind of problematic here if you're not happy with the result you can actually always render the picture once again using a different model or using a different setting so yeah even though it's not perfect but remember this picture was only like 167 pixel or something so it's very very small to begin with so ai has to be I has to try to guess what is the likely object in the picture. In this case, I think the face is kind of okay. Although again, 
not exactly what I would hoping for and also the hand is definitely there's something wrong with the hand but other than that i think if you look at the other elements like the other details the background it looks so great given the quality of the original picture so go ahead use topaz labs upscale feature to enhance an old photo and hopefully you can get a much better result so i'm going to leave the link in the video description so you can try this out too and so that conclude everything that i want to say about this upscaling technique using ai i think topaz lab is still better than the rest of the ai tools that i showed in this video so if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day